The so Nigeria Conservative Foundation, NCF, has reassured tourists and visitors that all safety concerns have been addressed and the Lekki Conservation Center is now open to the public. Head of Communication, Ola Dakbo Shoneye, gave the reassurance while speaking with journalists shortly after a guided tour of maintenance work of facilities at the center in Lagos. Our correspondent, Love Ikuku Yudokun, was there and now reports. The reopening saw a sizable number of visitors and tourists trooping into the center. But first, they were ushered into this hall for debriefing on safety rules. As we go inside, we do not allow plastic bottles. So if you have plastic bottles, water, you have to empty the contents and try to pull it open. If we have any edibles, they have to be in bags, bags like that are locked. So the monkeys do not see it and come through with you to scratch your back. Um, every instruction the tour guide or the wildlife officer gives you, please let's have to it very strictly. Thereafter, we all filed on a single line en route to the forest. Inside, there are two routes, the broad walkway and the canopy walkway. The canopy walkway is a 401 meters long, 22.5 meters above the forest floor. This is crazy. The height is, the height is massive. As in, you cannot even look down. Wow. The canopy walkway consists of seven bridges, three ascending, one straight, and another three descending. It's a one hour, 30 minutes work designed to give a better view of the forest. It was indeed a test of resilience, stamina, and focus. Here, the men are separated from the boys. This is the third bridge walk and it's the highest of it all. From here you can have a very beautiful view of the forest at the uh, Lekki Conservation Center. It's quite amazing. Wow. The expedition finally terminated at the family point where everyone relaxed and relished their experience. It was lovely. Um, I really enjoyed the canopy walk. I thought... Um, it was longer than I expected. The height was amazing. The views were great. The wind felt great despite the heat. Uh, it was definitely helped, uh, helped me cool off a little bit and met some really interesting and lovely people. They told us that they, we have a lot of uh, wild animal here. It's only market that I've seen since. I have not seen any other. This is just the question that I have keeping access. Where is other animals? Olada Kwashuneye is a herd communication NCF. He spoke afterwards. We normally shut down for routine maintenance to do check and be sure the facilities are in good order. So in the course of our maintenance, we now discovered that oh, we need to do some repair work. So uh, we now extended. Then government officials came around also to inspect because they know that we are safety conscious. So Lagos State uh, Safety Commission came around to inspect and also share some idea on some areas mm -hmm. we need to work on which where we did an address. Shoneya said the center has put everything in place to accommodate the influx of tourists and visitors this period. Oh, because this is an ecotourist center, so people are looking forward to a place like this to go. So during festival, we usually look forward to mammal crowd. Mm -hmm. uh, and as you can see, people are started trooping in, even though we have shut down for two months. Uh, they've been looking forward to coming around, and the moment they heard that we are opening today, so even African, foreigners, you know, people are coming in. So we are expecting more people even this weekend. So it's usually a great crowd during festival period. With repair works on the damaged section of the canopy walkway completed, visitors can once again look forward to having memorable experience as they exploit the diverse ecosystem and scenic beauty of the conservation center. Love Ikuku Uyedukun. Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.